What is up guys, DJ Martini Midwest coming at you with another video for my channel. Uh, today I just want to show you guys a quick video, it's not going to be too long, uh, just how to do the updates for the Denon DJ Prime Go and I might even show you the Denon DJ Prime 4. It's going to be the same process guys but I get a lot of questions on, you know, I'm having issues, uh, those types of things so like I said I'm just trying to help anybody out there trying to get these updates done um, they do improve some some of the functionality of everything so you you always want to stay updated a lot of the things is just maybe uh, something happens during the the loading process or something happens wrong so then you kind of have to just redo it and I know it's a pain in the butt to go through everything uh, but that's usually the best way to fix it sorry I'm having <clears throat> uh, kind of I got a sore throat today but uh, I wanted to get this video out to you guys, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest, DJ Martini Service on Facebook, and DJMartiniMidwest.com. Check them all out, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, liking, subscribing, sharing, all the positive feedback. You guys are the best, and that's why I like to do these tutorials, the review videos, guys. If you like uh, review videos, please like, subscribe to this channel. If you like uh, some DJ-type uh, tutorial videos, please like, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you guys so much. Please share, let everybody know. I'm just doing honest reviews, um, trying to do helpful tutorials. I'm just out here to help you guys and try to make you guys better at what you do. Also, just trying to also bring you guys information on items. That way you guys have a little bit more background in them. So that way, when you decide to make the purchase, you kind of know about them and that's very important, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's get into this update. On I have the Prime Go right here. Like I said, maybe I'll do the Prime 4 too. Um, I don't know if I'll do it in, in this video, but we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm going to switch camera views so you guys can see what I'm seeing right now and kind of get you into this. All right, guys, so as you can see, I just fired up the Go, and it's already telling me that there is an update available, and it says ignore or remind later, but it's telling me there's an update available. So it's telling me to go to denandj.com and check it out for the Prime Go. So then if you go to the web page here, sorry for the camera work guys, uh, if you go to the web page here you see that I have uh, my updater and all kinds of stuff, uh, PC update, Mac update, USB stick update. So we're going to go with the PC update. Uh, if you wanted to plug in a USB stick into your device you could do that. Uh, but I always just go with the PC update, it just works uh, a lot faster for me. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Then on the bottom right here, you're going to see that it's downloading the update. <clears throat> um, it says for me it's blocked, but you know we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it working here. So then we're going to go to the file here. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up. And my PC is not really liking it, but we're going to get it to open up here. Show it in the folder. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and open it. Mine's giving me all kinds of warnings, but here we go. Okay, so now we're to the Prime Go updater. So all we need to do is go back to the machine here. <clears throat> we're gonna go to Remind Me Later here. Now, I have everything plugged in. I have the SSD plugged in. I also have a USB uh, in as well, but we're gonna go to the SSD here. Uh, yes. 
All right, so then this has all my music in it, but we're going to go to the menu here. So we're going to hit uh, view and the button here. And then we're going to go to utility. And then it says go to firmware update. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm make sure I'm showing you guys right. Update available. We're going to go to the update. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to go to firmware update here, reboot. And then it's going to it's going to update. It's going to turn this into an updater. So it's going to reboot into the firmware update mode. And yes, we want to do that. Hmm. So then we don't want to remove any drives. We don't want to touch anything. We just want to let it go into the update mode and it's going to restart into the update mode. <clears throat> and we still have the prime go update prime go mode set up over here. So give this a little time here, guys. Sorry. The biggest time issue will be me just getting everything to fire up. <clears throat> So it's shutting down, it's going to go into the update mode, and then when it gets there, then we'll start firing up into the Prime Go update. And like I said, if you had any issues, all you got to do is kind of go through your settings and go to more um, through your, you know, Windows security issues, um, and it, it's going to show you that program in there. Mine really did not want to show the program, but it finally got worked. Here. Now, here is the updater mode. You'll know it looks like a little computer chip there. It is in update mode. It is ready to accept an update. So now we have to go to the laptop, make sure everything is plugged in. I have a USB to micro hooked up into the device right here, hooked up right here. Here is my, uh, this is going to my hard drive right there. You can see it hanging down there. So. You just hook that up into the USB B there. So we're hooked in. Everything is hooked up correctly, tight, all that good stuff. You make sure all that is good to go before you do this. And then we're just going to go to the updater here. And we're going to go to update prime go right here. And now it is it is transferring information, guys. So it is doing the update for you. Pretty simple. You had to download the download the update. Then once you download the update it's going to go into that mode that you just saw with the prime go it opened up the firmware updater which is right there and now it is completing the update right now and this is accepting the information because it's in the update mode okay so see it's only taking you know a good minute here it's almost done so we'll go ahead and wait for it and once we get to the make sure it don't stop anything. Make sure it goes all the way to the end till it's all the way updated. And it's in step three now. Programming update. Taking a little time. But it says on the bottom, do not power off or disconnect. Now it says it's done. Now over here, you notice that it went out and now see you have the 1.6.1 update there and it says done over here. So you can hit done over here and it's just gonna close you out. And then we'll go back to here and everything should fire up as promised here. So you notice I had to kind of do a little extra steps to actually get the download on my computer. Um, but notice it has, you know, title, sound card, boot source, all that stuff. Is loading up correctly it is doing the update make sure you let it go through all its updating prime go controller the lights are firing up here and you know this and now it's asking me to confirm my source here. So I'm going to go with my SD card. Yes. And all my tracks are still there. Everything's still good. 
everything fired up as it should. And then if we go back to the menu here, utility down to the bottom, we do have the update 1.6.1 version 54. So everything is good to go. That is the update. 1.6.1 update for the Denon DJ Prime Go, Prime 4, uh, Prime Series uh, is here and we just did it and everything was good to go on my Prime 4 or try the Prime Go controller here. I will be doing this update for the Prime 4 as well. Um, probably do it on a different video just so I can label it different but it'll be about the same process guys so I, I just want to put it out there not too hard to do um, the biggest thing was my computer thought it was like a virus so uh, I had to go to show more go down to download anyways do some of that once I did that I was able to open up you saw guys took a little extra time to figure that out but not a big deal um, some of the updates that will be in this 1.61.1 uh, is uh, the the extra Dropbox feature. You'll be able to personal cloud storage with Dropbox, open Dropbox, see how much uh, music you can uh, put in there. That way, it'll be you know totally mobile, guys. It'll be if you have Dropbox and you have storage within Dropbox, you will be able to open that you know via the internet anywhere. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Beat Link, uh, sorry, Beat Source Link. Uh, open music format will also be available. Uh, they added dual waveforms, uh, flexible beat grids uh, for in the on the only on the Prime Four, but they added a track preview option, um, ability to double tap uh, to load tracks, reloop trigger option for saved loops, added BPM key into SoundCloud track listing, and then. Uh, some other tweaks that they did uh, the engine prime software uh, added a the dropbox as well uh, so the engine prime software where you're uh, putting all your tracks and saving all your music in the engine prime they added the dropbox the beat grids the ability to import serato dj and rec record box uh, uh, information into there uh, with the beat grids uh, added option to backup collection when closing Engine Prime. Uh, added OS uh, for Mac OS 11. Uh, Big Sur com uh, compatibility, and then you know little tweaks in involving that. There's a whole video on the uh, options as well for the update. So if you guys want to check that out for more information, it's there. My biggest purpose was to show you guys how to get it done, and it's not too hard. And I hope it helps some people out there. Thank you guys so much, and it's been DJ Martini Midwest. Reviews, uh, tutorials, uh, that's what I do. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and that's all I got for you today. Like I said, I will do one for the Prime 4 as well, um, just, just so I can label it different and say this one's for the Prime 4 and this one's for the Go. So thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys later.